Okay, so my name is Johan Falk. The sun has set in Stockholm, Sweden, and this is the last video I think for the day. Uh, I'm going to talk about two new proposals I have for the blocks and layout system in uh, all the initiative for Drupal 8. Uh, I, these are inspired by rules, uh, a framework I find very useful in, in Drupal. And they are as follows. Let's uh, see if I can. Yeah. Um, I would like all the dynamic settings that we have uh, uh, on components, like this one, show related content or a view of related content. This is a dynamic setting that requires a context, a data source. I would like to be able to uh, switch to manual input. So I can click somewhere here and say manual input and instead of inserting a, a data source I insert some kind of identifier that replaces this uh, data source. In this case a node ID. Uh, and then I can show related content for node number 5 if I think that is important for some reason. Uh, same thing with this node content here. I can uh, instead, instead of uh, plugging in one of the data sources here I can switch to manual input and say I want to have node content for node number 15 or I want to show user presentation for user number 1 things like that. That would be pretty useful and it's an well uh, it, it gives you some flexibility uh, means that it means for example that you can use components even if you don't have the data sources the matching data sources available for it then you can still enter stuff manually uh, with node ideas and stuff. Number two, and this is the cool thing, really cool thing I think, is that I would like all the settings for components to work in this way. Uh, in this case you have a, a setting that's called a number of rows, ten of them, and um, I would like to be able to click somewhere here and say dynamic instead. So instead of uh, making this a manual input I would like to fetch some provided some data source and uh, have that uh, go into the setting. Uh, so if I for some reason want to change the number of rows I can have a deri derived data for this and I plug it in here and uh, it is then dynamic for every page load or every time this this block is called. That would be really interesting. It would mean that you don't have uh, a, a standard form here for just uh, entering configuration but you actually have the data well the, the the component knows which kind of data it expects so here's a node here's an integer positive integer I guess up here you have a, a piece of text and you can either write that manually or you can fetch it from uh, some data source that you have that could be derived from other data sources you have it's kind of useful and then plug it in here so it uh, varies with the context the block is used in. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Um, in rules, this was introduced in rules 2 for Drupal 7 uh, and I was first surprised by it and then I was kind of shocked when I started writing rules actions and conditions and things and I realized there were no regular uh, configurations, uh, configuration forms that you added to the components only data inputs. And then I realized this is really powerful. Uh, it allows components to talk with each other because they understand what kind of input and output they have. And that, that's really, really, really useful. Um, so yeah, that's something I would like to see uh, and at least would like to discuss when it comes to components in, in the block, Blocks and Layouts initiative. Um, yeah, and with that, I am done. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to discuss this, head over to the, well, you can go to groups.drupal.org slash node slash 227543. And there's some discussion going on here. Yeah, uh, see you around. Bye.